Okay, well the installation went really well. Uh, I'm gonna show you a quick speed up of it at the end of the video if you wanna see, but the full uh, videos come in next week once I've edited it of making the slab, doing the resin as usual. Um, but anyway, as I said, let's get on with the Banggood uh, review. Some cool stuff here. Let's start with the rebate gauge. This is really good. So we take it to the mitre saw, just show you how to set up the kerf offset and then we can do a little test cut. Okay, so first thing to do is get this gold section, lock it down at the back, the very back, like that. And then we're gonna do the blade offset. So we're gonna bring this up to the blade, check the kerf on the blade, use a straight edge if you like, just push it back. And then you can lock this one down. And now you can release this one. And that's now got your blade offset there. You could probably mark that if you're using the same blade all the time. There is little numbers on there as well. Just double check that. That's pretty good. Get your piece of wood, whatever you're gonna use. Excuse me, whatever you're gonna use there, put it on here. Nice and tight, really tight. Tighten that down. And that is how tight, in theory, the slot's gonna be on this. That blade's a bit teary on there. It needs a new, needs a sharpener and a new blade on the saw, but you can see that's pretty good. No movement, perfect for a glue up. So just to take you through it quickly again, the first thing is to bring the gold thing all the way back, lock it, then adjust your blade kerf, whichever blade type of blade you're using. Lock that down so that's in fixed position. Unlock that and that is now your rebate size a couple of things you saw that move so if you're doing a bigger re if you're doing a rebate size this says this one here i did try and it sometimes works um using a clamp like this to stop the thing moving and then push that into that. that's better now when you come in here you can see i can slide off that and i can slide off that Slight bit of movement there, but there you go. So you can clamp it, that's a bit better. But it's a great little device, really cool for working stuff out. Now what didn't arrive, I'm gonna show you a picture. It is on its way, it didn't make it on the video. If you do already have the slot, they make another gauge which reads the slot space, which you can transfer from having the rebate to cutting out the next section, so measuring the rebate bit for adjusting, but I'll show you that picture and hopefully when that arrives in a few weeks, I'll show you that as well. So you can see that's really useful, really well made as well. Looks fantastic, feels really good, really accurate. So that is excellent, really happy with that. Yeah. The next we've got a digital angle finder. Now I use one of these all the time, I've got a trend one. I've tested this against it and it is just as accurate, if not more accurate than the trend. And it's also got an extra decimal point, so Super accurate here, 93.65, so crazy accurate. Really useful tool, this. I do use it a lot. Kind of set the angle on there. I can read what it is, and then I lock it off, and then just put that up against the blade, especially on the uh, sliding saw. It's really good for doing the weird angles, and then you can mark down what angles you're using um, exactly if you need to go back and do a recut. So very, very handy tool. Use one of those all the time. This one's really good. So you've seen me use this before. Let me get a little bit of wood and show you. This is a piece of Damson. There's another project coming soon. It's a little box. If you've looked on Instagram, you'll see it's finished. I'm just editing the video. Um, so I'll come up with this here and you can mark in across and like that. And you can obviously go all the way around, but with this new one, you've got a ruler and it's obviously much longer. So you can mark it in one hit. You can use the ruler as well for offset if you want to have a stop or something. 
Now all I did with this is open it, it came with an Allen key, I did up the four grub screws, I did not play with the wiggle or adjustment, it just comes straight out like that. I bolted it down equally, just really quickly, nothing special, and it's bang on accurate. It's got the little rebate in there, this one, same as the other one, so you can sneak your pencil, let's get it on. So you can sneak your pencil right in, and come, oops, get it on there straight in there. In there, if you come in, you can see we are, it's hard to see on the light, sorry. Right on the corner anyway. Really, really good tool. So obviously self-explanatory, pretty simple, but really cool and useful. Now something I'm gonna be using all the time, I love these gauges, I'll show you this here. This has been on another video. Now I'm always using these to come in off the edge I don't really like using, you can mark down them like this. I don't really like using a tape measure all the time, making it inaccurate, keep remeasuring. So I love having these set, I've got a couple of these. And then I saw this one, and what it is, is just a little magnet, and you can use any ruler. So this is a massive Axminster ruler. Now you've got the same thing, but you've got the massive length. Now, what I did to check this, if you wanna come in and look, I've just simply pushed this on, dropped it in. It's very, very slightly tightened that grub screw by hand, nothing special. And just to show you on this Rui table, how accurate the square is. It's absolutely spot on and that's just using that. So I'm not saying by any means that this is your go-to square for all your stuff, but it actually does work. It's really useful. So if you've got your favorite metal ruler in your toolbox or on your shelf, all you gotta do is carry this extra thing around or it does come with a really nice ruler as well. Just tighten that on, it's brilliant, you can slide it around. So you've seen me using this all the time for marking the square, really useful, squares and 45s. I've showed you it before, but I'll show you again in a moment, this on the fence at the planer, show you how accurate it is. They've now sent me the same thing, but more like a speed square, actually has little dimple marks there, so you can put your pencil in and move along, or you can spring it like a normal speed square for your angle, so there's a 45. That's now 45 degree angle. That is now a 30, 20, etc., And it's a square as well, and a 45 when you push it right up. So again, a useful tool. It's actually a bit lighter than that, so maybe better to put in your pocket. Will not break the bank, mega accurate, and don't worry if you drop it. You've seen me mash these things around in the shop. I'm not that fussy about them, and they've never lost their square. Last on the marking tools, we've got, this is um, like a T-square. You can do obviously your normal T-square stuff. You've also got a spot in here to put like a felt tip if you want to run it along, if you're using big markings, or you've got a spot right on that present there to mark right on the edge line there, and then you've got all your divisions. Put your small pencil in, and that's there. Um, not sure what that bit is. I think that's just to hook it up, but I'm not sure. Um, anyway, that's really good, really accurate again. I'll take all of these over to the planer in a moment and show you, but just for now, you can see everything's perfect. There's no light through anywhere. Okay, next up is the mitre clamp, or the dreaded mitre clamp, as I like to call them. What I'm gonna do on this, I've not used this yet, it's brand new. I'm gonna cut a mitre now, I'm gonna put some tight bond on there, um, or maybe you'll just use some quick epoxy, and then I'll glue this up while we're doing the review of the other bits, and we'll come back to this right at the end in real time and see how it performs. I'm skeptical, I've not really come across a good mitre clamp. I've got other videos on clamping mitres, and I've actually, ended up using Lamello for most of my mitres because it clipped and you don't need any pressure so you don't get any skewing. But let's see how this one performs. It's not mega money and if it's really quick and good, then all the better. I'll show you it now in real time. <clears throat> okay, so next up, we've got this adjustable corner clamp. Now I'll show you a picture. I don't use many pocket holes, but what's cool about this one, if you use the sort of Craig pocket hole system, there's a little space here. I'm gonna show you a picture from Banggood where you can get your drill bit in if you've done a pocket hole and that's gonna help you um, access the pocket hole whilst you've got it clamped in the corner, so it's quite good. So I'm also gonna test this on a corner glue up. I'm gonna do it in real time, so I'm gonna cut the wood, glue it together, and at the end of the video, when I finish filming this video, I'll take it apart and we'll see how good the joint is. But I think what it's de primarily designed for is to clamp the corner when you access your Craig pocket holes. Square. Right, I'm trying out this new glue. More about this once I've tested it. I saw someone else using it and I found some in the UK. Looks really cool. You see how quick it sets and see how good it is. We'll just flood this. I'm not worried about the squeeze out looking bad. 
I just want to see how good it is and I also can test this glue at the same time. So loads and loads of glue on there, push that together. And we'll try and get it into this bad boy here. So it's a bit fiddly because it's such a small component. Should have cut a bigger bit, I suppose. But what the idea is, you're pushing this one, if you can see, this one here goes all the way down to the gray stop and the other one just slots in. Pushing it down with your thumb and we'll see if this pushes it together. Um, and I would say no. There's a tiny little gap there, if you can see. Tiny little gap, but let's just... Oh, actually, sorry, there's a little chip. A little chip got through. Try again. So we're pushing these two down. Hard as we can. It's a bit fiddly showing you on the video because I can't really see if you're seeing that. But there you go, pushing that down as tight as I can. Put that in. Well, that's pretty good. Yeah, that is good. Let's leave that, just leave that. I'm not gonna check anything else. I can see it's square on the bottom. It's got a little bottom plate there and there, and I can see it's square. So let's just see. Now I was only sent one of these, which is pretty useless. I need four, obviously, but anyway, let's see to do a picture frame or something. Let's leave that while we review the other bits and we'll come back to it and see how well it works. Okay, next up is the drawer slide fitter. It can be used for other things. It has an adjustment here, so you can see how far uh, inset you're going to have your draw front so that would be your the thickness of your draw front you could adjust that much there out as thick as the draw front could be whatever then simply adjust the height of the draw runner with this little grub screw that's your height adjust there so we're going to set that and then really really easy this i've never used one before i don't know where i've been and why i didn't try so what we do is you put the magnet on that's not going to fall off push that up to the stop and you're just going to go ahead and put that on obviously this height let's give it a test up on this got our piece in there pushed in that's obviously our height adjust but dead simple push it against push it down and what you can see here is this is absolutely flush because this offset is zeroed here this hinge is going to be bang on so probably not how you want it but if you want it back a few mil undo the grub screws push it back and then all your hinge is going to be the same and I'm sure you can turn this, so when you're coming from the top of the unit, you can come down like this, and you can flip this thing over and come from the bottom to do the bottom. So you're gonna get quite a lot of range on there for fitting it. Feels really good. Not sure why I've not used one before. I'm sure it's gonna be much quicker and more accurate. So great little tool. Again, not mega expensive. Okay, so the last thing is this little curious device, and it measures um, a couple of things it can do. I can set the drill bit and push it up. So say 40 mil, lock that, and then lock that. So that's it's definitely useful. The other thing it's really good for actually is the table saw. So let me show you that on the table saw. You can just crank up your blade and you can see what you cut into there. So 40 mil, go down, 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 down. That's 40, if I lock that off, brilliant. Now it also has this, it says it's a three in one and it has this angle feature here for the drill bit. Maybe you guys, someone will know what that's for. I can't work out what that's for, to be perfectly honest. Um, you drop it in there and you're not going to get a measurement because it's the wrong way around, but it's something to do with an angle. So that's for that. But it's a cool little device. It can even be used as a, you know, just push it up and draw a line with it. It's, it's just basically a measuring tool again. Um, probably not the most important one out of this lot, but it's a bit of fun. It's quite cool. As promised, this is a real-time review. Just to put it in perspective, this video has taken me about an hour and a half to film. Uh, so this has been in the clamp for probably about an hour. So let's have a look. It's good, it's stuck to the, the glue is stuck it to the clamp, which is not cool. Maybe that's to squeeze out. Okay. Yeah, so I stuck it to the clamp. I'm gonna have to clean that. Let me just, maybe I need more practice with it, but as usual, it looks really good there and for me, that's not acceptable. So maybe it will work, but again, I just did that in real time. I might try it again another day on something and if it works, great. But for me, again, that's not really worked very well. Center finding marker. So it has roller wheels, um, has different holes for putting your pencils in or whatever you wanna mark. You can also insert the guide for drills if you wanna use it for the drilling. This will center your drill. 
But what I wanted to use this for, over, now it's a bit easier to use on this smaller stock, you can just Really cool. So again, not rocket science, but it is a handy little tool. Obviously, as always, link in description. So the squares, now again, yeah, I'm, I'm always struggling to get these mitre clamps to work. They just seem to pull the joints in funny directions. I don't know, you know, if there's a better way to set this up or whether, it, you know, something wasn't quite right. I don't know, but for me, that's not, not good enough. Okay, well that's it for this week's shop talk. I hope you found it interesting. Maybe some stocking fillers for Christmas. They're all usable stuff. Everything is accurate that I've tested. Never had a problem. I'm gonna put a sign up on the video here with a playlist to all my old Banggood videos because some of the stuff you might have seen uh, like this and there's loads of other Banggood videos I've done because I think all their stuff's pretty cool. If you buy anything from the links, just to say there is an affiliated link now, Banggood have been nice to me, they sent me this stuff for free, and if you buy it through the links, I get a little bit. It's not a lot of money, but it all helps the channel, and it helps me make these videos for you guys. So thanks so much for watching as always. I'll see you on the next one.